have met so many celebrities. Yes. And you've met some of my favorite divas. Yes. And some of the divas that you know may be unfamiliar to our younger audience. So That's I true. thought we might play a little game with you. Okay, good. A game called, Who That Lady? <laughs> <laughs> Oh my God. So who that lady is a, just a little game where we're gonna show you pictures of some of your most Ooh. famous lady okay. interviewers. And then you're gonna tell us who they are and you're gonna tell us something about- What if about, I don't recognize them? Well then bitch, okay. you in trouble. <laughs> then you're gonna lose who that lady. But I wanna win who that lady. Uh, well, I think Cash you have a good chance of winning this. Okay, let's see. I've only okay. picked the best. Okay. Let's get the first lady up. That's, Who that lady? That's Miss Mildew. That's Bette Midler. Um, I int I was just talking about her today because there were there were some people in Texas who said we they in a restaurant these two gay guys came for to, to eat breakfast. Uh -huh. Oh yeah. And they said we don't serve fags. And I said, well, Bette Midler in the rose said we don't eat them neither. You know. <laughs> so she was talking about hippies, but still yes. it's the same thing. The but same no, but thing. I spent the day with Bette Midler uh, and touring around uh, all the parks that she was rescuing. Oh, because so Ben Miller's big into reading, yes, cleaning the New York nature in New York City. She's done project. a lot. Yes. So I had a, a, a Miss Sam moment. And I've been to her, her Halloween many times, and I've interviewed mm. her a bunch of times. And I, and I, she, I was the kid who, uh, she did an HBO special, and it was uh, the Live at Last album, but it was a special, and it was on in, before VCRs, okay? Uh -huh. And it was Ooh, on- Ooh, bitch, wait. children, there's an invention there that you don't know about. It had tapes, and you put them in, <laughs> and you recorded what was on them. But that didn't exist yet. That no, wasn't that even was before yes. that. So you had to look up in the listings when, uh, and in a, in a magazine, you had to look a up- paper yeah, A paper magazine? I've never heard of it. And uh, they had, <laughs> <laughs> and it was, her show was on, the Live at Last concert was on 23 times. Wow. Okay, in, in that summer, or that month, or whatever, on HBO. And I watched it every time it was on, whether it was two in the morning, if it was, I set alarms, I did whatever, <laughs> just so I could watch it over and over and over again. And so, it, uh, so that was my, my bet moment. And was she scary or nice? Because she seems sometimes like she's a little peppery. Yeah, I, do, I think she's demanding. demanding. Let's go with that. But I did go. To, I went to a, a covered dish at someone's house in New York one time, and uh, and the, the, it was one of those fancy apartments where the elevator doors open into the apartment. Oh, you know, for very Fabulous very loft, rich right? people. Yeah. Yes, so it mm -hmm. opened, and there was Bet and Harry and and her kid Sophie. But Sophie was little, uh -huh. you know. But Bet had a covered dish. It was a covered dish at someone's house. <laughs> she, and she brought her own. In. You brought her own dish. She brought her covered dish like everybody else who came to that party. And and so that that was strange because she doesn't like to be the diva that she's somebody's mom that night. Right. So don't act like you're a gay. Like, don't, don't, don't yeah. Don't go members. gay on her. You know. So I and I did. And she was like, well, thank you. You know. And it was, it was very. Yeah, it's a delight. But well, she was screaming at her daughter, like, get off that bed! You know, it was like a mother. That's what I, I like so. to see stars yes. in their natural habitat, knowing that they're just like <laughs> us. <laughs> Next lady. Next, yes. <gasps> Who that lady? That is the most foul-mouthed, most beloved woman I ever had on the Frank DiCaro uh, show. I'm serious. B. Arthur came on twice. Yes. And can we say any dirty words we want? Yes. Okay, so B. Arthur, God love her. I loved her piece. And she did one of my Oscar specials. Too. Oh my, so yes. you got some really face to face. Yeah, it'll be right moment. close yes. B time. That's like my personal dream. Yeah, so anyway, so that was too late. So, I know. Uh, but uh, she, anyway, but uh, so she, we had her on the show and she told a story about how Bill Macy, not William H. Macy, but Bill Macy, who played the, the husband on Maud, her okay, first Okay, yes. Season, uh, how he was, they were at an Emmy luncheon and he, uh, he had been in Oak Calcutta, where everyone was naked on Broadway, uh -huh. and uh, and he liked to show it off. She said he liked to, he liked oh. people to see it. She mm -hmm. said it wasn't that big a deal, but he liked to show it to people. And so she joked about that. But anyway, <laughs> he ran up to the stage at the Emmy luncheon, dropped his pants and his underwear, and screamed, "Cocksuckers of the world, unite!" Oh. Wow. And she said, and that's why we never won an Emmy. Okay, so that was <laughs> anyway. But uh, so she but she told it on live radio, and I was like, I love you. Oh my God. So it was fun. And then another time, we uh, she, we were at the the uh, roast where where Jeffrey it was Ross, the Pam Anderson roast or a, no, it was a where, different one. It was, okay, it might have been uh, Hugh Hefner's or Chevy Chase. Or Somebody's something. roast. Whoever it was. Anyway, but uh, um, Jeff Ross, Sandra Bernhard went on and she sang Magic Man. Uh -huh. right? that, is that the heart song? Matt? He's a uh, magic man. Uh, mm -hmm. Anyway, she sang that and it was so weird. And he came out and he said, "I wouldn't fuck her with B. Arthur's dick." Okay. And, and B. Arthur went, she heard that. 
And she was then they cut to her and the whole thing, you know. Anyway, so afterwards, I saw her at the party, and I said, I said, oh, B, do you remember me? I've written about you, and we, we were, I've interviewed you and stuff. And she said, yes, yeah. she said, and I just saw you on TV. She said, you are ripping someone a new one. And I said, oh, yeah. I said, we, were, we did a review of a Kevin Costner baseball movie, and we really were mean to him and stuff. And she said, at least you didn't say you wouldn't fuck him with my dick. <laughs> Ah, and she walked out. Cut to classic cut to, B yeah, she exit. She did the exit, and it was. The Golden was, Girls theme should have just followed her wherever she went. Next lady. Oh, who's the next lady? Who that lady? Oh sure, uh, it's it's Joan Rivers. Um, Who she, that monster? <laughs> <laughs> it's a shady show today. Bink. Joan makes me laugh really hard, and she does really. She does material that absolutely kills me. I'm not thrilled with how she's handled the striking writers. So uh huh. There's mm -hmm. that. I'm not happy, well, but I your, respect what's, her. What's your as best a Joan moment? My best Joan moment. Oh, uh, sh I didn't know this was going to happen, but she was coming on, and and I wore. A, I thought, well, I'll dress casual, but but cute. So I put on a hot pink Lacoste shirt uh -huh. and silver Prada sneakers. You right? show so I thought that was good. So I, showed, I love I you for that. Out. So I did that. So I showed up, and she was wearing the same color pink blazer and had a metallic <laughs> handbag. And I said to her, I said, Joan, I got the memo about the pink and the metallic. And she said, only assholes dress this way. <laughs> and so that was our, that was my Joan moment. I, I, uh, <coughs> but you know, she was, she's always been very nice to me and stuff. The, the strike thing bothers me a lot. And I and just, I don't know what to say about that. But I we do. We try not to talk it. about it around here. Shh, don't say it. Next lady. Who that lady? <laughs> That's. Dame Edna Everett. That lady's a man. The pride of Mooney Ponds. It's Barry Humphreys, yeah. who is my idol. I think Barry Humphreys is about the funniest person ever, ever, ever. Lady Ray Couture, you're pumping a Dame Edna type of purple wig look today. <laughs> I got now, the river! Now, I, don't know know like, like, I don't know who that is. <laughs> I can tell you that Dame Edna's hair is natural wisteria, oh. is what it's called. That is the official name of her hair color. She's wearing natural, it's, and it's natural, apparently. Oh. She's the only oh. woman in Mooney Ponds with natural I'm wisteria sure. hair. But, uh, now, did no, you talk to Dame Edna, or did you talk to Barry Humphreys? Yes. I, I, first, I went to meet Dame Edna. Uh-huh. And I went to Sardi's, and she said, uh, would you like to eat something? Looks like you actually have eaten something. Ooh, and bitch. So, and she, she threw me shade right there. So right away. And, but she was very funny. And then uh, the, the two days later, the next day, I went and had lunch with, uh, the, the, or breakfast, with his male alter ego. He says, who may be his manager. We're, I'm not sure they're, they're the same person. He has a fake manager? May, He's his own manager? Know, I think Dame Edna is real, and Barry Humphreys may not be real. Okay, Barry Humphreys may really okay. be the manager. So you met, the, I, you met the man. So you I met, met him, him. And he was... As smart and funny and delightful as you'd want anyone to be, and, so and not married gay, out. married, not right? Not gay. No, he That's just likes outrageous. the ladies' clothes and adorable. So anyway, but he he's about as funny as it gets, and and you'll never meet a smarter person, and and he's great. But the nicest thing was my mother wanted, my late mother wanted to meet Dame Edna, uh huh, and they hooked us up with tickets, and we went backstage after, and she leaned over to my mother, and who had you know, and she struggled with the gay thing for years, you know, she leained over and he said, "You raised him right." That's in her ear sweet. quietly. Oh, and I was that's like, a delight. Dame Edna, you sweet pussycat. So I do, I, but I love, I love her so much. My favorite question she ever did, she, she was doing a, a, a talk show, and, and it didn't take in America, unfortunately. But she had Roseanne on the show, Roseanne Barr. And she said, Roseanne, is there anything you regret having eaten? Okay. <laughs> but she, the pause was perfect, you know, and it just was, it was just heaven. It was just, she's Next like, lady. Girl. Who's next? Who that lady? That's Carol Burnett tugging on her ear, saying hello to her her grandmother. I think is what she was doing. Uh, she did my show, and and she brought with her Vicky Lawrence and Tim Conway. It was for the for the, the cast the members cast from the Carol, Carol Burnett, Burnett show. show, and later Mama's family. Yes. Oh God. So she anyway. So that was really brilliant, and uh, and we got to talk. So to you got her. all but three of them three at, at once. once. It was, did you, now, do you ever get overwhelmed when you're like, a little bit. too many stars that I love? <laughs> well, I had a therapist once who told her, she told her little son, uh, you can't go inside the TV. And I was like, oh, yes, you can. It's like, <laughs> she also said fabulous doesn't exist. She was a dumb therapist. That there, therapist was about. a fucking bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so, no, I loved her a lot. But it, but it really was like, you can go inside the TV, and, and we do it on the show. It's fun when you're sitting there with them. With all your favorite stars. No, and then, uh, and then they, you get it to, they pay you. They do direct deposit. So it's, I'm and, still working on better, that part, but Frank. But better than that, 
is they send you the deluxe box set of the Carol Burnett show, not oh. the not the preview one. If you have them on the show, you get the coffee table size one. You know? Wow! So that's all I'm in it for is the disc. You're still getting free shit I'm after free all shit these off. years. That's the only reason I'm in it. <laughs> Next lady, who that lady? Why that share? That's Chaz's mom. Um, it's, I love. That's the worst share impression ever. I share. <laughs> okay, so I wrote this book on. It's called the the uh, the uh, fashion and uh, what's unmistakably Mackie. Yes. The fashion and fantasy of Bob Mackie. They, uh, Bob hired me to write this book. So I did a book on Bob Mackey, who I adore from designing the clothes of the Carol Burnett Show. Carol Burnett Show and, and, and all of the things Cher has ever worn. most importantly, the Cher Show. Okay. Uh, the original Cher Show, show when she, when after Sonny she said, cut from Sonny. I'm here, that, you know, I'm doing my own. And she would, do, she, would throw, she would come out and sing a little bit slow and then throw off it. And then she'd come out in this fabulous outfit. And yes. And so anyway, so I had to interview her for the book. And, um, and it took two days to get her to call me. And I sat by the phone like this. And every time the phone rang, I hit the ceiling like the cat in the Looney Tunes cartoons. You know, but, <laughs> you know and I just was stuck. You know, and, um, and, and then it was finally Cher. And so when we talked for about an hour, it was only supposed to be a little while, and she's like, I'm enjoying this. And someone came in and said, Cher, you have another appointment. She said, I'm having fun now. I don't want to, you know. And were you just chatting with Cher about Bob Mackey stuff? About and Bob like I mean, so I said, so what's it like? You're wearing the outfit to go to the Oscars. And, you know, and she said, my date about shit when he saw me. And I was like, that's, so I was like, Cher just said that on my, in my ear. And so, that's from when Cher was wearing that big rooster that was the one. thing. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, God, she looked good. God bless her. Poor Donna Meach. And Bob Mackey said, I said, I told her you can't do that. And she said, oh, Donna Meach, she's a star. He'll understand. So she, she basically did. And he, the best thing he ever said, he, he talked to me about, uh, he said the reason she's so glamorous is she can wear any of those get-ups. And he said they're not outfits, they're get-ups. Uh, they're he definitely get-ups. He said she can wear any get-up, and it's like she's wearing a T-shirt and jeans. And it's like, yep. And he said, and it's not her belly button, it's her armpits that are the most beautiful thing about her. And he said, because wow. they used to make a big deal about her belly button on TV. Uh, they did? Yeah, that was the year. That was the older time. The belly button was too fancy. From the, from the Later in control, <laughs> make sure your belly button's covered at all times. <laughs> oh, we sat in front of that magic box with the kin watching those kinescopes. And just, you know, <laughs> no, it was, anyway, no, she'd come on. I, mean, I was so glamour deprived in the New Jersey suburbs, you know? So the and then man, Cher so would come on. Cher and on the television was oh. just dreamy to you. So that's why I had to do the book. So, so I did that book, and that was really fun. Is there another lady? Oh, is there more? It's you. That's Johnny. No that lady. lady is Johnny McGovern. <laughs> and I am what, her what biggest about, fan. Who is lady? <laughs> <laughs> For more, hey, hey queen. queen. Check us out on the stream.tv. Subscribe to us on YouTube and Daily Motion, and follow us on Twitter and Facebook. And we'll just have a gay old time, right, baby? Yes, honey. Yes, honey. <laughs> yes, honey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Gwen.